Hey everybody, I welcome you back to my channel. This is Monique's Jewels. I have been off of um, YouTube for a while. It's been, oh gosh, maybe 10 days. I have been really sick. Um, nothing contagious. Um, I had a hard time trying to get my blood pressure in order. So I was feeling really, really lousy starting this new job and everything. But I think I've got things back on track. What I had discussed last time we that I aired a video, I had discussed that I had gotten a blue box. Well, I did. And I think what I'm going to do each week, I'm going to... I've got a blue box for this week. And in my illness and desperation to find something to do, I went through this box and it was... Um, well, we'll see here in a minute. But what I'm going to do is like every week, I got one coming from American Thrift Supply. I don't know if it'll get here by Friday, but every other week, I will try to get a box from somewhere. I've been trying to get a box from Thread Up, but I can't. Um, I don't care what time of the day it is. I just haven't been able to get one. So I'm going to work on Thread Up. I definitely can try to find some other way to get a box of jewelry. I might shout out to my jewelry resellers, my friends, and see if somebody would would want to send me a box or a bag every week, you know, every two weeks, like twice a month, something like that, just to have a, something to do. And then the other jewelry that I can get in the meantime, pieces or two or three pieces at a time. So how is everybody? I've really missed you guys. Um, it's been hectic setting up my new office and desk and just going through a lot there. And like I said, I have felt extremely ill. So I'm back on track. Glad to be here. Um, don't forget to like, thumbs up, subscribe, share this video if you can. Remember, the description will tell you exactly how to register for my channel, which is giving you the ability to purchase and the ability to enter the giveaways. That would be you would subscribe, um, click that button to subscribe, hit the bell icon right beside it so that you'll know when I'm coming on next. Go to the description. It will tell you to... Um, email me. My email is, as always, moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com, all small letters. And you will give me your PayPal email address, your full name, and your shipping address. Now, once I get that, and it's in my email archives, we're good to go. You can be, be added um, to the giveaways and all that, because I already will have your address, so the minute that you win... I'll just ship it out to you. So if you have any questions or comments that are, you know, detailed or specific to the video or to my channel, please email me. If not, put a comment below the video. Say hello. Let me know how you're doing, how you're liking the video, the content, if you think that's a cool idea. I also would like to um, offer a purse a week. I've got about eight or nine purses sitting that I haven't tried to, you know, sell. I might have showed them one time. And if I can get a one one a week, then I can start purchasing them again because I get them from different places. Sometimes even Goodwill here will have really nice purses. But I can also get purses from ThreadUp and some other places. And I have um, a code that I can use. So I can get a really good bargain on them. So let's go ahead and get started here. Like I said, I have missed you all, and I'm so sorry that I haven't been on here, but um, I just was really, really ill. Almost in the hospital, but not quite. So, all right, don't forget the thumbs up, and here we go. This is the story behind the blue box. I got bored one night, was sick as a dog, felt horrible, so I sat in my bed, and got a big tray out and went through okay this is what I got out of this this box okay 
this is the only wearable this here and this bag here that is the only wearable jewelry in this box i'm going to show you what's left in this box now you know these are five pounders all of this is trash okay so what i'm going to do if i can find my um where is it i'm going to measure If I can find it, I should have pulled it out earlier. There it is. It's right here. We are going to see how many pounds, ounces of halfway decent um, jewelry came out of this box. And we'll do that with the one from American Thrift, and we can do that with any of the boxes we get. We can keep track of who's doing the best as far as offering jewelry. Okay, out of five pounds, that right there is about six and a quarter ounces. Six ounces. And this is, let's see, let's go to pounds. Hold on. Come on. Pounds and ounces. So this has one pound, 4.5 ounces. So this is not even two pounds. We're right at two pounds. So out of the five pounds, two pounds is wearable. Okay, so we'll just keep that in mind. Because this box here, to get it here, is over $50. 55, I think. The one from American Thrift is a little less. It's about $5 less. Okay, so let me put this on the ground. So if you guys ever decide to do a blue box, it would be cheaper. Unless you're looking for a little cheap, uh, you know, I don't know. That might be horrible. Unless you're looking for beads. Or, I don't know. Crafting stuff. Okay. That's the only reason to buy. Now, you could go on Shop Goodwill, but I don't shop with them anymore. And get some things. But their boxes, 5, 10, 15 pound boxes, they can go over $100. Quick. So... That's not feasible. Okay. So this is... Let me pull it all out of here. I'm not saying some of this stuff isn't cute. But $50... And the only reason why it's almost two pounds is because there's a couple... There's a very heavy piece in here. This is all... For $50, I got this. There is... I don't think there's a marked piece in here. There might be one. So, yeah, kind of upsetting. All right, so the first thing that comes to my mind, no, comes in my hand. It is cute, though. It is the Little Red Hat Society, and she has her purse and her little glass of wine, and she's sweet. It's a little brooch. <coughs> Excuse me. I will be sneezing <coughs> as I just took my allergy meds. Okay. She really is cute. So let's give her a measure here. She's right at two inches. Let me set that down. And we'll put $2 on her. Pretty cute. Now, I thought this was neat. It's the acrylic see-through, the white and the gray, or the clear and the gray kind of inexpensive but I think it's cute I think this would be better with a clear stretch instead of the white but I still I think it's really really cute so you've got the two gray there together this is probably the bottom <laughs> but yeah I really like that so we'll put three on that one yeah see when you when you stop and think about it 
and you start um, trying to say, well, can I recoup my $50? Uh, no. <laughs> Quickly, no. And I don't think in the past four, four boxes, three boxes that I've gotten this year, I don't think one of them had a precious metal. No sterling, no nothing. Now, this is cute. Pamina says, love what you wear. This is darling. This is leopard print with the, the little gold um, rhinestones. This is really, really, absolutely darling. So this is leather, I do believe. And, um, of course, it's the magnet clasp. I'll show you how pretty this is. Let me put it on. It was super simple to put on. Super, super simple. It just snaps. It's a magnet. And it, look, now that is pretty. That is pretty. Brand new. Let's give you a measure. Really not even a scuff on this, as you can see. Let me know how you guys like the view and the sound and everything. It's been a few days. This is right at, let's see where it overlaps. Seven and a quarter. So it's it's just really, really attractive and peaky. So let's put five on that. And it is called Pamina. Pamina. Yeah, I like that. Okay, next. I'm going to do a necklace. No, I think there is a necklace in here that's you and I, if I remember right. These are so cute. These are just like um, little glass beads. They are kind of crocheted on, if you can see. Let's um, straighten up my iPad. There we go. Just really cute. Some of it, like the little cat's eye bead, glass. Look at that root beer color. How pretty. I don't know. There might be some little hunks that are... Uh, there's another... Look at those little cat's eyes. Oh, my gosh. And that looks like... I don't know what that is. Another cat's eye. But this is really, really cute. The clasp is just the button button over. Absolutely darling. Let's get a measurement real quick. It is 19 inches. So this is just as cute as it can be. So the color, the main colors of the bigger bees are red, blue, green, and kind of a brownish root beer color, a little bit of yellow, and an orange. So this is precious, so we'll put six on this. Okay, very nice. Um, let's do the earrings before I forget them, because I know that's something I'm gonna forget. Because they're just kind of, there's only three that I could even get. I've had blue boxes where they didn't even have earrings that matched. Just so aggravating. Okay, these were the only matches. These are really pretty, though. This is gold tone. This does not have a... Um, this is really pretty. Light blue crystal. At the bottom of the chain, at the end of the chain. This will have a um, silicone back on it. Move these out of the way. Here's the other one. Very dainty, very, very pretty. And they are gold tone. Not precious. These are approximately an inch and a half. And let's put four on those. Those are very nice. Let's set those back there. Now here are some little um like little Murano glass. These actually don't have backs either. This has the one, but um, I'll show you the side of them. I actually think these are coral now that I'm looking at the stone itself. Kind of a painted little coral triangle. 
in the way that they are um, shaped. They're not 100% the same, leads me to believe this is probably coral. See how it has that little... So these are just too cute. And it has like that Murano glass little flower, little painted flower. It's so very sweet. So let's put three on those. Aren't those cute? See how they have a shape to them? But they're not exactly perfect. Yeah, we'll do three on those. Silicone backs will be put on those. These are what I would say are vintage. Let me look, Let me look for a mark. I don't see one. backs are nice what's this say 12k gold filled so these are gold filled that's why they look so good these little hearts with the light blue almost like I am um aquamarine not quite a topaz blue kind of a lighter blue so both of these and you guys I have alcohol and I will alcohol sorry I've got alcohol. I will alcohol for this for you. Um, and you can do the same when you get them if you want. Anytime you get earrings from me, you're, you know they're going to be washed with alcohol. But these are really cute. So I'm up at four on these. They are 12 karat gold filled. And they are gorgeous. Valentine's Day is coming up. I know it's not a red stone, but they're still hearts. And then we have the little clips. These are beautiful. Look at that little red little clips. Now these clips can be tightened. All you have to do, I'll show you. Oops, that's not what I'm looking for. There we go. So all you have to do is take, sorry, take this and just bend it forward a tiny. So you bend it forward a tiny. And then you can bend this forward. There we go. So there's that one. Because some people have fat ears. Some people have thin ears. And then we'll push that down. And yes, I used to make jewelry, and I wish I knew how to really make jewelry. Because I would so enjoy it. Okay, so here's this. The spring back. This is a pretty little red piece of glass. Look at that. Six prong setting. Looks like something from the 80s. These are beautiful. So I'm up at four on these. I'm sure these are vintage. These are just too cute. That is very bright red. I don't know if it's coming up orange. I'm just trying to, come on, focus. Sometimes when I tap the iPad, it will focus better. But yes, this is a bright red. Okay, so we're going to put four on those. Very sweet. Okay, we have another very nice stretch. It is, you know what? I would love to redo this one because... Of the filigree I love that filigree and look at the stone look at the inside of that isn't that gorgeous and then we have the black Ooh, it's like a moon glow and we have that little root beer color then we have that is look it looks like um onyx yeah these could very well be stones I don't know I don't know, but I'm going to put um, five on this, and this is pretty big, but it needs to be tightened. So once I get it tightened up, it still should be about a seven to seven and a half, but it will actually really stretch because this stretch right here is going to go at any second. 
So it sh and see how easy it is for me to get it off. So these will tighten up, but will be a little more forgiving. So I'm gonna say between seven, seven and a half, these should be fine. I'm gonna put five on that, and I will work on that tomorrow. Now this one here, I really did not give you, but look at the stretch. I didn't give you an actual size. It's gonna be easy to get on, but I don't think this would fit more than about seven, seven and a quarter, okay? I had forgot. And then we measured the other one. Okay, next. Let's see here. I'm gonna start getting tangly, I can see. Oh, goodness. Oh, here we go. Okay, I do have a marked piece here. This one is loft. And here we go. And it is really nice. It's kind of a antique gold tone. Um, the chain is a dark kind of a gunmetal gold tone. And it comes down. This is unusual. I like this, though. It comes down to all these little prism-looking... Look how long that is. Prism-looking... Almost brioles, but not quite. Look at those. And those are acrylic. And look how shiny they are. Very, very pretty. This is nice and long. Let's get a measurement on this real quick. So we're going to go all the way. So that's 12. Let's see. 12. It's about 30 inches. So this is gorgeous. And it moves. And it's nice and dangly. And we'll put five on the loft. Beautiful pieces. So yeah, that's nice. But we should have had two more pounds of wearable stuff. Now this is pretty. Um, it's got a mark in it. This is, oh, this is Yik Fang. And his things go for quite a bit. Isn't that pretty? It is leather. Smells leather. Smells leathery. Um, let me snap it and show it to you. It's really, really cool. Now, that's beautiful. Yik Fang is a prolific bracelet maker. He has some beautiful pieces. Isn't that nice? So let's get a measurement. This actually snaps two times. So the first snap, seven and a half. And the second snap is just six and five eighths. So this would go up to seven and a half. A little over six. And six because that, that last snap for me is a good size. And I'm about six and a quarter. Yeah, six and a quarter. So we'll put five on that. Yik Fung. You can look him up. He's, he's pretty, you know, as far as those types of... And the wraps, oh, some of his wrap bracelets are hundreds of dollars. Okay, this is a beauty. Does this have a mark? No. This is really, really cute. This has little um, kind of a resiny plastic tubes. It is a gorgeous blue. Turquoise, like a sea color color of the sea. This is an older piece. And it is anywhere from let's see 18 18 will be the longest and it could go down as far as about 15 16. So that's too cute. Isn't that neat? 
So let's do four on that. Yeah, I thought that might be marked, but it wasn't. Now, this is very pretty. I'm pretty sure this is leather cording. You have a real, this, this pearl is gorgeous. It's a ring pearl. Oh, wow. Very gritty. There's another ring pearl at the end of it. Um, it's just cute. And I'll show it to you here real quick. We are doing w very well on time. I'm trying to keep my videos down. So if we go over like 35 minutes on one of these box, you know, the box videos, we can just do it in two, two parts. Sometimes it takes a while. So this is really pretty. It's kind of a peachy color, a creamy peach. And then this, this pearl is a little deeper, kind of a taupe. The shine, the little ring. So this is approximately, I think this is seven and a half. Yeah, this should be right about seven and a half. It's a little big on me, as you can see here. Whoops. It's nice and light, and it's really pretty. So this is a dark brown, almost black. And we'll put five on that. Those are real pearls. Okay, next, we have a little Shambhala. And this is a waxed cord. It's very waxy. And it pulls one way or another. This is for, for the, it's like for the sea or for the ocean. And I tried to look it up and couldn't find it, but these are really nice little crystals. This is, um, it pulls. It's just hard to pull it, but it pulls. There we go. So, it just needs to be worked on. I mean, you know, worn and pulled. There we go. So, it's a Shambhala. It's got that little charm there. And it is anywhere, right now, it is a about, yeah, it'll go over my, yeah. So it's at about seven now. So it'll go anywhere from about five to eight and a half, nine. So for the, for the ocean, we'll do three. Very cute. Okay, now, I have something that's perplexing. And the thing that bugs me the most is I can't tell. Um, these beads are so perfect as far as um, shape. And that's why I don't think they're real um, amber. But let me show you what they do with the blue light. It's kind of irritating. Um... If I can find my blue light. Where are you, blue light? Um, there it is. It fell. It moved there. Okay. I don't know how to explain it. There are some parts that do that greenish thing. That's very weird. So I don't think this is amber. I think it's a resin look-alike. But see how it does that. I don't, I don't know. I'll have to do the needle test. But when I look at it from the side view... I just don't know if you guys have an idea for me. But why is it doing that weird fluorescent thing? Like this one here. I just, I don't know. It's not fluorescent, that's not what I mean. It's giving that green tint. I don't know, it's just very, very unusual. So, I know what amber feels like. This is awfully smooth. 
it doesn't give as much waxy feel as I think it should. So this is long. This is about, let's see, 12, 28, almost 30 inches. It's got a very nice clasp here. If I can twist it. Come on, baby. Oh, it goes over the head. I mean, it, it'll open, but it also can go over the head. And I think I'll just put five on it. I don't, I don't know. It's just an amber lookalike, I do believe. Because to have that much amber, I, I just don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'll show you the interior of that one. Let's see if I can get this to um, focus a little more. Yeah. And see, with all this stuff in there, I was thinking, who can make a bead like that? I don't know. So, whatever you guys think, let me know in the comments. But, $5. <laughs> if I knew for sure it was Amber, it'd be about five times that much. Okay, next, we have some little cuties. These are so cute. And you guys, I dug through that box, and it was absolutely filthy. I was just... It's like anything that came to that facility it was Dayton Ohio that was like just not worth anything they threw in that box and and just threw a couple tidbits on top so this is cute this is called six tet there was six of them there's four plus this one that doesn't really go with but you have but they are cute the heart the butterfly the little flower the apple, and then we have this rose, and it's very cute. And Brits was the name of the store. Even has the phone number. These were three dollars. So I'm gonna put five. I do know that there's a couple missing, but I just think they're cute. Okay. Next, we do have a few things left. Let's see who was. Oh, guys. Okay, so it's only missing one. Look. Got the fleur de lis. But it didn't have the bottom piece. I, I dug through that box looking for it. But that's okay. I mean. So we have all but one and the bottom of that one's missing. Okay. You know what I can do? I'll put, um. Let's see if I've got one over here. I usually do. I'll put a earring back on that real quick. I think a, an acrylic one or let me do this. Yeah. I think this will fit. It's a little acrylic piece. So it won't fall off. Let me see here. I might have started a new fad. Where'd it go? Oh. I'm out of there. There we go. So. Put them in there. Yeah, I always loved stick pens. They were so popular back in the 60s. And my mother had a bunch of them. And they were so just darling. Yep, that'll work. Okay. So it worked. Wonderful. Okay, next. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a little dainty filigree scalloped. A little black, probably just a... Who is this? That's Sarah. I don't know I like it. Yep, Sarah Coventry. There's Sarah right there. Beautiful flat, little flat piece in there. I'm not sure what that is. It's beautiful. Silver tone is fabulous on this. This is definitely vintage. Nice chain. I'm sure it's original to the piece. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? You got an extender there. Very, very nice. 
Yeah, that's that's a nice piece. Now, if I'd had a couple more of these, I'd been really happy. So this is 18, well, a little less. 17, 5 eighths, and then right at 20 inches with the, with the pendant. So we'll put six on this. Darling. There we go. Here's a, this is the U and I. Such a strange tag. The U and the I. But this is really, really cute. And you have the, and this might be vintage also. I would think. Very nice silver tone. Kind of a resin, plastic resin. Some of these are not resin. The cold ones probably are an acrylic. Here's some glass. This kind of a, oh, what would you call it? Look at that. I, I think those are glass. And then these pretty little spacers here. Oh, that's cute. Then we have the glass here and here. It's asymmetrical, I think. It's it's just a gorgeous green. This would be good for um, St. Patty's Day. So we have, let's see, 12, 13, 14, 15 and a half. So it's about 30 inches, and it could be even longer, 32. And look at that green. Isn't that sweet? And I have something that will go with this. Look at this, Patio Trolls pen by Russ. Remember Russ? I think they were at Hallmark stores. Look at his little fat troll belly. He is a brooch. What is the year? Made in Hong Kong, New Jersey. It doesn't say. Uh-uh. In Oakland, New Jersey. Okay. So I'm going to put these two together. And we will sell this you and I little um, Irish set for St. Patty's Day. We'll put seven on that. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. Okay, now this is this piece here is really, really pretty. I was so shocked to find this with all the other stuff that was horrid. This I, I really like this. Okay, I'll show you the actual pendant. How big it is. A copper derivative. It's not real copper, I don't think. Look at the squash blossom accents on this. Now, the beads... I'll show you. You have the copper metal color beads here and here. And then this has like a faux halite. Um, just beautiful. And then it comes up and you have this very nice kind of an antique copper color. It's very well finished. This is beautiful. So the necklace itself is, let's see, that's right at 12, 34. And the pennant itself is four. So it's about 38 inches. It, of course, can go over your, oh gosh. Earthquake, sorry. You go over your head and it hangs down to about your way. It, it's just really, really pretty. So you could even double this if you wanted some really pretty copper up around your face, neck area. So I'm gonna put 10 on this one. I really, really like it. And these, this, um, this matches these beads. 
beautiful. I'll set that over there. So at least we did get some pretty little pieces. I mean, nothing spectacular, but you know. This is cool. This is like puka shells. And then these are wooden shells. And sometimes boys love this kind of stuff. They'll wear it under their shirt or, you know, on top of their shirt. The colors are an easy match for someone. This has some greens and blues and browns. And this is right at 16 inches. So we'll do three on that one. But yeah, I've seen quite a few boys wearing things like this. Next. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like this. Okay, this is a little beautiful piece here. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Let's push that back. Now let's try to focus. Come on, iPad. Isn't that beautiful? We have some little red shells, I mean, stones here. They look like coral to me. They might not be, but they sure look it. This is just metal. This is not sterling, but it is really, really pretty. Um, it could be South American. Um, I'm not sure, but it's very pretty. Could be from Thailand. I'm trying to make sure I can fix this. Oh, it's not broke. It's just twisted over the top. Um, yeah, if this was sterling, it would just be so cool. There we go. It was just twisted on itself. So let's do a measurement real quick on this. And I'll turn it over so you can see the back. The back is in great shape. This right here, I think is a piece of glass. Feels like it. So we have, so we have 12, 13. It's 36. Let's do it this way. So from the drop is 18, yeah, 18. So 36 is right, and then with the little pendant, we have about two and a half inches, or two inches, really, with a little bit of this hanging. So it's right at 20 inches. I like it. Isn't it, darling? So let's do seven on this one. I like that. We are at 43. Let's move it. Okay, this is different. This is 1946. No, what does that say? Wait a minute here. I got it upside down. Yeah, it is 1946. I thought it was. Which is the same thing as 1928, just a different generation for their um, jewelry. 1946. Come on. there and this has a very pretty gold tone chain nice little lightweight those are gold very light gold tone then you go into the acrylic beads some wooden beads and then these great big kind of leopard prints <coughs> excuse me let me get a drink we're almost done so I'm not going to stop so this is right at probably about almost 17 inches, I would say. Just different. Very cool. This would be great with a black dress. This would be fabulous with a blue jean jacket and a black sweater. Um, it's just very cool. And those be the, that's my favorite. Those little those are wooden beads. But yes, very pretty acrylic. It's in great shape. The spacer beads are fabulous on this. Very nice design. So let's put, mm, let's put six on that. That's very cool. 
Okay, we're almost done. Almost done. Now, I love this. This is hand knotted. This is a severe look-alike. Just almost exactly. And the reason why I know is because of the extender. Because it would um, hang down my mother's back of her neck. And we would sit in church and I would play with this part of her necklace. Because I thought it was pretty. And this is a Crown Trafari. No, it's not. This is a Monet. Sorry, guys. This is a Monet. And it's got the hook there. And she would clamp this down some so it didn't bother her neck. And I, I'll never forget playing with that. With the little bead. And see, these are hand knotted. These are very nice beads. They're kind of cool. So, um... I don't know. It was just like back in the day. Everything Monet touched was gold. You'd have to really not take care of something of of their um, name brand for it not to look nice even 40 years later. So this is 16 inches. And with the extender, it could be up to 18, maybe a little longer. And I'm going to put six on this. This is gorgeous. The gold tone is great. Sounds good. Okay. Last but not least. Oh, let's do this. This uh, was still in the um, box. And I just saw it when I was showing you guys. I would have thrown this in the trash, probably. This is marked. I think. Nah. I don't know. Let me look. Hmm. Huh. Says copyright E. I know it says R Y. Hold on. Hmm. Something R Y. S P R Y. Don't know. Jerry. Wow. It's a J E or G E R R Y. Jerry. And I'm not going to be able to get you guys to see it, unfortunately, because it is so faint. And then it's got the little mark there. So this is a Jerry's B. Very cute. I cannot believe I left it in that box. Very nice on the pen. So we will do $5 on the B. Cute. And last but not least, this is very pretty. These are um, baguette beads and seed beads. And this lays so pretty. Look at that. The colors is what is amazing to me. It's a brown and gold, kind of a brownish gold. And then you've got these pastels that are just fabulous. So it would lay, oh my, isn't that pretty? It would lay just like that on your neck. Oh, I love this. Look at the color combinations here. Isn't that gorgeous? So let's do a measurement on this real quick. Get the end. It is 12, 13. It's about 30 inches. And look, it lays. This is almost like a chocolate brown color. And then these pretty pastels. So I'm going to put seven on that. Because that is super, super precious. Love it. Okay, we're going to get off of here. It is 49 minutes. That's one of the longer ones I've had lately. Um, it doesn't matter. If there was more, I would have stopped earlier, but I think we're doing great. Um, I hope you guys have a beautiful end of the week, this Sunday night. And um, we'll be getting back with you probably in the next day or two. And uh, like I said, email me at Monique's Jewels too if you have any questions. Um, 
let me know if um, you have any comments or any suggestions or anything like that. Yeah, send that to my email. Otherwise, give me a comment as to how you like the videos. If you like the idea of me doing a different box like every other week and sharing it with you guys. And I'm sorry I didn't open it with you. I'm kind of glad I didn't because we would have had to go through all that trash. So, but that's all right. We, we'll do it next time for sure. All right. Got to get off of here. Get ready for work tomorrow. And um, you guys all stay well and stay blessed. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys.